Good morning. It's good to uh, see all of you this morning and to hear your voices as we make the connections that we can with the social distancing. And thank you for being so faithful to, to the mask and, and everything that we need to take care of each other. This morning as we gather together, we, design, we have a great day for bringing God glory. And remember the campaign several years ago, what would Jesus do? What Jesus always did was bring God glory. No matter the circumstances, no matter what was going on around him, his desire, and then his promise to us that if we would bring God glory, God would bless us and we give thanks. Um, and we also will know that when we bring God glory, we're living faithfully, whatever that might be. So Olga, if you go ahead and start us off. Love lifted me. 
right? All right, so here we go. Second verse.
uh, for Bonnie and Bob Spichowski. Uh, Bonnie had surgery, and she and Bob are moving to Browning Villa. We pray for healing and peace. And the surgery is not the reason they're moving. After I read this, it made it sound that way. Uh, they were already planning on moving. So, and then I uh, texted back and forth with Christy. Uh, she has surgery on Wednesday to put a port in for chemotherapy. Uh, she goes to the doctor on Tuesday to make sure that she has healed enough from the three surgeries to start chemo on Tuesday, August the 11th. So pray that the, that healing is, is, is taking place. Uh, Anna asked us to pray for Joni, who was Mark's hospice nurse for 10 months. Now, she has COVID. Uh, her lungs were already compromised. She was in the hospital, out, and is back in the hospital. So pray for Joni. And then we've had a request to, to pray for COVID to be done. And so I'm saying it this way in spiritual terms for COVID to be defeated. And we will pray. So let us uh, pray uh, silently for a while and then I'll close us out. Lord God, we thank you that the body of Christ can gather together, whether it's here in person or in some other way. We thank you for the connection. Lord, we lift up all those that we have mentioned this morning by name and ask that you would minister to each one at their great, their, the point of their greatest need. Lord, we pray that you meet that need whether it's physical or spiritual or mental healing, whatever it might be, touch them. Let them know that you are with them, that there's nothing to fear in tr when we trust you with your perfect love. And we thank you. We do pray for 
the COVID virus and how it continues to attack people throughout the world. And, and Lord, you know our hearts. We desire that it would just be done and gone. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will defeat the virus. Lord, as you defeat the virus, let everybody know that it, it was the only way it could have happened was by your power. That you would be glorified. That you would be honored. And Lord, as we're in the midst of this, and until it does uh, go away in your time, we pray that you use us to demonstrate your love, your grace, and your peace in the midst of circumstances that does anything but give us peace. So Lord, we thank you that we can depend upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Karen. Thank you. 
uh, reflect on in this morning's scripture. It's, I hope it's a word of encouragement for each of us as we hear God speak to Moses and, says, and he says very clearly, I see, I hear, and I am aware of what my people are going through. That is true today as well. God sees what each of us are going through. God hears what we're saying and how we're responding. And he's aware of what we need. Each and every one of, one of us as individuals and as the body of Christ. I was thinking, okay, how do, how do we look at this? And it, uh, I'm relating this to either driving a car, riding a motorcycle, even riding a bicycle. One of the things that we need to do to be good at any of those is to look ahead. How many of us have almost hit someone because we were looking down instead of out there, way out there? And God provided a, a great illustration for that this morning, uh, coming down uh, 23 to get off on 24, and uh, there was a state patrolman sitting in one of the one of the sections they sit in regularly on that route, and two people within 100 yards of the car hit their brakes. <laughs> Don't they realize that it's way, way too late? <laughs> so I'm sitting there laughing because, because you know, they, they were not aware. And so we have to look ahead to know what's going on around us. We have to listen to, to what God is doing. We need to be aware of the changes. So whenever we're driving, we look ahead. We pay attention to what's going on around us and we're aware of the constantly changing situation we're in. Now, isn't that like life? Doesn't God want us to look ahead, look towards God, to hear what God has to say, and God hears what we have to say. It's a conversation. It's not one way. It's supposed to be two ways. And then God will make us aware of where God wants to use us, where we can bring God glory in our daily lives. And, and that's the key. If we want to experience the, the, the greatness of God's peace, and God's presence, God's holiness in our lives, it will come as we live in such a way that God is glorified. Whatever that might mean for each of us or as a congregation. How do we, how do we get there? Well, we have to learn how to see spiritually, how to hear spiritually, how to be aware spiritually. And the greatest thing that we can do uh, beyond prayer is to learn the Word, learn the Scriptures, learn God's truth. God's revealed to us, this is what will bring you honor and glory. This is what you will do to bring me honor and glory. This is how you'll find my peace and feel secure. If you'll do these things. Well, we need to know what that is. So I would encourage you. I've had several people this year that have been reading through Scripture. And, and some have said, you know, it's changed my life. I can't wait to my Scripture reading each day. So here's a suggestion. As, as we all read Scripture each day, that we say this prayer. God, give me a hunger and thirst for your word. Your truth. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Show me what your desires are for my life. As we're filled by the Holy Spirit, we ask the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised in the 14th chapter of John, that the Holy Spirit will teach all things and will bring everything that we've been taught to our remembrance when it's time to remember, when we need that word, that truth. So if we're going to look ahead, it also means to be aware 
of where God's at work in our lives and how God wants to teach us to be holy and faithful. And that is through the Word of God. And we give thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Bring glory to God. Amen. We're going to share in Holy Communion and just a just the, the instructions again. Last time I had trouble getting it open, but there are two tabs on these nice self-contained uh, communion kits. So the top one's clear, the bottom one's gray. It, it's really hard to get the wafer out if you pull the gray one off first. It, it also gives much greater chances filling juice. So let's don't do that. Uh, so let us pray and give thanks. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this act of remembrance. Remembering what you've done for us through Jesus. Just as the nation Israel and the Hebrew people, your, your chosen people, remember every year the Passover. Them being protected from that last plague in Egypt. We too have this reminder to celebrate what Jesus did for us. As by his blood, our sins were forgiven, we are cleansed, and we are in new and right relationship with you, O oh God. So Lord, make this, this bread and this cup be for us the symbol of the body and the blood of Christ. Lord, forgive us for those things in our lives that are unfaithful to you. Prepare us for this moment. For we want to know that you are with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took the bread and broke it and said, take and eat. Take and eat in remembrance of him. Then he took the cup and he poured it. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. Let us pray. Lord, you are with us. Your promise is to never leave us or forsake us. So Lord, lift us up today. Encourage us as we depend upon you through your son, Jesus. Lord, we do pray that you would give, give us a hunger and a thirst for your word, your truth that you would fill us with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit may make your word come alive for us, become real. And Lord, that you would show each and every one of us what your plan is for our lives, even if it's only the next step, that you would be glorified and honored. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen.
a blessing. Join with me for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go forth and bring glory to God. Amen and amen.